from the Euro game. <laughs> it's that time again. Yeah, but I need to open before. <laughs> and it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, everything's closed up tight from the hurricane storage. Yeah, it is very tight. <laughs> Well, that means we did a good job. See, you know, all those laces held in really good. Nothing came loose, no rips, no tears, no damage, nothing. And that's surviving category two wins anyway. Oh, yeah. Mm. Done good. Now. We make a very great job, do we? Have? Yep. Help with your nuts? <laughs> your knots. <laughs> Ooh, not touching that one. But yeah, it's time to open it up because today we do have a surprise. We've been given authorization. We are free to come and go as we want and sail around the coastal waters of San Andres anywhere we want. There's a couple of small keys in the area, but we're not allowed to go on the keys yet. They're still off limits just for environmental restoration, but uh, we are going sailing. Yes. <laughs> you see what you wanna see and I look at what's right in front of me I see all the beauty that's all around my head held tight and my feet on the ground I just wanna stay up all night until So this is what we've been leading up to with all these little projects going on the boat, getting the engine serviced, everything set up, and of course going through all of our checks, getting the anchors up. And we are just about ready to go. We still got one more anchor to stow. It just needs to go below, or maybe we're going to try and test fit it on the locker, or sorry, on the bow roller here. I'm not sure yet. But of course, yeah, this thing is going to cause trouble again because we haven't used it hardly at all in the last year. And it's become very intermittent. And, uh, you know, you guys know I really have a love-hate relationship with this thing. It's just very unreliable. And it's not corrosion issues, it's just this wire inside of the very, very fine, thin wires. And they're on very poor strain reliefs and they always fracture. You know, it's just, it's not a good design, it's not a good piece of cable. And, well, what do you expect for 200 bucks, you know? I guess you gotta spend a thousand if you want to get a good wire these days, shit. But... I've already got some new contacts and new pieces to upgrade this system, so we're going to take that apart and upgrade it in the very near future. Maybe today, if this thing gives out on us, we don't know. <laughs> uh oh, tourists. Lots of tourists. Yes, San Andres has really come back to life. Everybody out having fun. Yeah. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Little wave. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, this thing is going to need to be upgraded or replaced. So I already have the parts on board. Now it's just a matter of taking apart the control box and installing the new pieces. I picked up a wireless system that's just like the one for the, the electric davit that we installed now. So that's going to be very cool. So then we can use it wirelessly. Have one in your pocket when you need to. Do it from the wheel, wherever you want. And I'm also going to put in some hardwired switches on the control box so that if everything fails, the hardwired switches are there and they're waterproof, so even if they get wet, it won't damage them. So that's something on the very near future list also. Uh, until that, right now we just need to keep doing our systems checks. We've done our engine checks. All our oils and fluids, as you know, are all finished and checked yesterday. Yep. Oh yeah, there's one that's out, I know that. Don't worry about those, just, um, you I got your spray silicone? 
Yes, it is not possible to fix it inside when... No, it has to come out when we do the sale. That's not today, so don't worry about it. Okay, is the silicone is here? We've got a couple fittings on our main sail that have come loose and out of the track slides, but yeah, nothing we can do about that right now. That involves taking battens out, redoing fittings, and it's a different day's project, not for an hour before we go sailing. So yeah, just get your silicone up there, give it a good shot on all the track slides, because you remember last time after the after the main sail sits for several months, the track slides get sticky even just from rainwater, rinsing all the dirt and everything coming down into the track and it gets stuck in the slides and it makes them very gritty and hard to move. So just by putting in some spray silicone, moving them around a little bit, that helps get all the dirt out, freeze it up so that we can move the sail up and down very easily. So Madeleine is working on that. Okay, I'll leave you to that. And one other thing we always need to look after is our propeller because of course we haven't used the engine in a long time either. So we don't want to stress the propeller any more than necessary. I think Sebastian has already gone in the water as he's going down just to clean the propeller. Oh no, there he is. No, I got to clean the propeller. Okay, so you got all your gear ready to go. Yep. So take a few minutes. It was only done a real short time ago, maybe a few weeks, but we just want to make sure it's as clean as possible. So as less drag on the engine as possible, should we need to motor. So we're going out on a day when the winds are fairly light, but we just wanted to go for a little sail, stroll around the island, maybe stop for lunch somewhere. We don't know. Oh, there's Mario. Mario's out for a day sail too. <laughs> Ciao Mario. Oh, maybe we'll run out to him on the ocean, who knows? <laughs> yeah, right now it's all about stowing gear, cleaning things, putting away stuff that's been accumulating and, you know, tying things down, like just tying down the plants, make sure they're not gonna move around. Plants on this side, everything has just got cables on them right now, although we have a better system in mind for when we're actually sailing. And everything down here looks okay. Running the water makers, you can hear, just topping up water tanks before we go because we've got power, so might as well use it and then we'll let it charge up and top up the batteries again while we're at sail because it's supposed to be a sunny day. <laughs> cool. You open the sail? Yeah, that's good. No, we definitely need the sail open. Yeah, but that's the grease too. The silicone. Poor sail hasn't seen the light of day in several months again. <laughs> The last time we were sailing was, what, with Colonel John back? Was that in August or September? Yeah, September, I think so. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't even remember. It's been too long. When you can't remember the last time you went sailing, it's been too long. It's time to go sailing. <laughs> so, we are getting lucky now that we, they've opened up a lot of freedoms around the island. Everybody else, the tourists, are all allowed to do what they want. And now we are allowed to go sailing when we want. All we have to do is just check in with the port captain on our way out the harbor on VHF-12. Tell them where we're going, what we're doing, and when we'll be back, and that's it. So, pretty slim requirement. We're happy with that, and we're glad to be able to go. So, thank you very much, Colombia and San Andres Port Control. And I think you guys remember Luca there behind us in his sailboat and he was there for the whole hurricane situation as well but he is going with us today so he's over doing last minute prep. He's got another friend on board to help with the boat because I think his autopilot's dead from the lightning strike so he's got a few things down also but he's anxious to get out for a little day sail also and get the boat working again. So Luca is going with us. All good? Okay, good. <laughs> Working well? Good stuff. Okay, not too far. No, that's good. It's working. Okay, Maddie, the last thing, we just need to take the sun cover off the main hatch. Okay, perfect. Take that all off. Okay. And the, well, the, um, the line that we've got the boom fixed down with for the solar panels, the black okay. line. We're gonna take that off as well and stow it. Okay, and then we're good to go. 
So you can drop the rest of the main down. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you. Daniel Para. Yes, my friend. In the flesh from DJI. I'm here, my friend. And he's got his DJI in the box. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. SSL crew ready to go. Yes. Cool, man. Yes, man. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Gracias, Capitan Jaime. Don't drop the DJI box. <laughs> the DJI Phantom 4 Pro, the best creation. There you go. Except for the Obsidian. Okay. Loosening up, all set. See you in a few minutes. Okay, man, thanks. <laughs> Woo. What's going on, eh, Tiki? So much stuff going on today. We have so much stuff going on today. Uh -huh. Tiki, you want to scratch? Did you have a good breakfast? Mm -hmm. You had a good breakfast? Good girl. And there goes Sebastian. So soon we will have a clean propeller again. Ready to go. Hello. Hey, I move, eh? See. This is the Capitan Rig, two hands. Okay. okay. All right, that's good for now. Get this shit straightened out. Canada. And look at this, guys. Haven't had one in months. Brand new Pirata. Capitan Rick SSL style. We back and we back. Just with short hair now. Ah, oh, here's the new one. Newer. Brand new for Amazon. Okay, there we go. Colombia. Perfecto. Italy. Oh, Italy. Madalena. Madalena Chef. There we go. Ratatouille. Yota Destruction. Yep, there's our remnants of Hurricane Yota. Screw you, Yoka. <laughs> At least all he took was our flag. Everything else remains intact. Yeah, that's quite a souvenir, huh? <laughs> Not much left of it. Give me that, my friend, for me. <laughs> Blood pirate. After a lot of time. Time to hoist. Up she goes. Colombia and Italy on the rise. Rise. Hey, you guys are all set. <laughs> all right, Tanaka's ready. Now we just need to stow our anchor. Actually, what I was thinking, I'm not sure why you're trying to do this. I was just gonna throw it over the side in the ocean and then pull it up on the roller. Okay. I think it's a better idea, Cap. Because I think somebody's going to get hurt like this. Yes. But can I drop in the ocean? But the chain needs to be tied off on something. Danny needs to move. Danny, come so. back here. Danny, change the... Okay, the plan. The chain needs to go through here. Can you move your foot for a second or no? No, grab it and I want to take it to the bottom. Grab it, please. I don't have to do it here. No, you grab it and he's doing this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't worry. Let me pull this up. Make sure this is ready for three. Now, I'm going to just tie this around here. Okay. Now. If you just drop this in the side, okay, give me a second. Let's see how you pull this in. Hold 
dangerous place. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready? ready. Boom. Secure. I, can, I have to move this one, something like this. Yeah, for I can pull, pull up. Yes, the action is come to start. Engine running, warming up. Where's the anchor? Still on the bottom? What? Brian, where is the anchor? Okay. Oh, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's coming! <laughs> That's two big ass mantis anchors. Yes. <laughs> 200 pounds of holding power. That's called fuck you hurricane power. <laughs> That's amazing though, that anchor's what held us through all that trouble. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm happy to see they kind of lock each other in. That's not a bad thing, I like those. They don't fit perfectly, but they actually just kind of overlap and the big one pulls this one in, so it's kind of locked there also. And as long as neither one of them can move, that's the main objective. Good, good. But we're on autopilot, so I better get back to the wheel. Come back, clean everybody, clean your feet, please, because I have all the printing on the board. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Just going out for a day sale sail around San Andres and then we will return to the main harbor and drop anchor again in the same place as we left uh, around dusk just before sunrise or sundown over. Okay, the, the, the after return of the anchor in the Marina Bar, correct? Yes, in the afternoon we will return to the same anchorage we just left, correct. There are four adults on board, over. Amazing camera, amazing camera. For less than a thousand dollars, fully optical, stabilized zoom, Carl Zeiss lens, 20 times zoom <laughs> on a six axis internal gimbal. That's amazing for a thousand bucks. And 4K. Don't touch my AX53. <laughs> Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat to survive with every star we are born again open your heart spend less time in your head with every 
in this moment, yeah. Why? Where? For the uh, main cup. Maybe solar level? Yeah, probably, but we'll need to check it. Look in the bilge, see if there's any in the engine bilge. Thank you. 
is a very beautiful, great, and special day. Sailing is a day. The sea and the light on the sky is amazing. Ah! Ah! <laughs>